Hello friends, this is Durga again from Technology Mentors Life Site University and as part of uh, developing MapReduce applications using Java, Java based MapReduce APIs so far we have seen uh, uh, introduction of MapReduce and also we have developed a simple MapReduce application with the default behavior and we understood the de default behavior of uh, uh, the MapReduce application as part of that we have seen uh, about the text uh, input formats, output formats and default mappers and reducer classes and uh, now we will try to implement our record count program and uh, as we have seen as part of the first as part of the first picture uh, the record count program uh, logic uh, involves transformation of each record from um, into count comma one tuples uh, so these are called as tuples with key as count and value as one and, uh, and that logic has to be implemented as part of the mapper and as part of the reducer we have to um, uh, define the logic we are holding the key which is count we have to add all the ones to get the final count of our records and uh, um, we will see how to develop this program uh, in this and uh, next few videos so the logic is simple in the mapper transform each record into key value tuples such as count comma one and in the reducer uh, make sure you add all these ones for each and every key and we have only one key which is count in this case so the steps involves not only for record count program for any map reduce application uh, these are the high level steps that that are involved first we need to determine the input format for our mapper and our deck of cards against which we are trying to do the row count or we can apply the same thing on our new new york stock exchange data also or any other data set where um, uh, uh, data is uh, separated by new line characters and for those that kind of data we can use the input format text input format uh, and uh, then we have to uh, i have already explained the, what should be the mapper logic and we will see how to implement that but before implementing that we we need to check whether there are any predefined mapper which will uh, actually uh, implement the logic we are looking for so the logic is to convert each record into the key value table such as count comma one and we will see as part of the map reduce APIs if there are any mappers uh, uh, providing that functionality. If not, we will try to develop our own mapper. So to search for the mapper, the best way is to go to map reduce API, and uh, that you can uh, Google it, and you will get into this uh, link, Hadoop Apache Org uh, documentation, and in this. Uh, you can see all the classes here uh, uh, which are part of common uh, category and map reduce category as well as the yarn category but as we are talking about map reduce api and we, as we know the class name we will directly search for the mapper here so there are two mappers one is italic and the other one is normal the italic if you hover your mouse on that it says it's part of the world api because uh, you can see that interface when I hover onto this, it says interface in org.apache.hadoop.mapred. The size is not increasing anyway. But if you uh, choose the second one, it is actually saying org.apache.hadoop.mapreduce, which means this is part of the new uh, uh, newer API. If you click on that, it will explain briefly about that class and also it will give you all direct known subclasses so there are uh, uh, predefined mappers as part of the map reduce apis uh, for different purposes and there are eight of them one is chain mapper field selection mapper inverse mapper multi-threaded mapper regex mapper etc and uh, chain mapper is to define uh, 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 multiple map um, uh, mapper classes which can be chained and this does not provide the purpose uh, pro provide the uh, functionality we are looking for field selection mapper so you can actually uh, define the delimiter and uh, 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 based on delimiter each field will be selected within the uh, within the class and this also does not provide the functionality 
inverse mapper we have seen the mapper functionality mapper functionality is based upon the text input format uh, sorry based upon the input format it will take the um, uh, it will take the key and value uh, for example for text input format the key will be the line offset and the value will be the record itself and the output is also same as the input key and input value output key and output value are same as input key and input value for default mapper in case of inverse mapper uh, your uh, input key will become output value and the input value will become output key that's why it is called as inverse mapper and this also does not uh, provide the functionality we are looking for and then uh, uh, there is something called multi-threaded mapper it's something to do with multi-threading i am not very familiar with that regex mapper is for regular expressions and uh, that also does not directly provide the functionality we are looking for token counter mapper can be used um, uh, for programs like word count if you click on that it will explain that it will actually uh, tokenize the input values uh, by default using space and emit each word with a count of one and uh, in a pro uh, that does not solve our purpose for card count if you want a uh, record count if you want to do word count by using a certain delimiter like space uh, within uh, uh, within the file and within each line then you can use token uh, uh, counter mapper uh, uh, it can be used for programs like word count but not for the record count so token counter mapper also will not serve our purpose i am not sure about value aggregator mapper and wrapped mappers but these two also does not provide that functionality as per my knowledge so anyway we will start developing the mapper in a moment uh, once we finish off uh, um, uh, the mapper portion of it so we need to develop the new mapper and while developing it we need to understand the map input key input value output key and output value so let's start developing our first mapper uh, which uh, our first custom mapper and the logic is to transform each record into count comma one tuples so I am going to STS and here as part of the job uh, uh, we will come to the uh, job configuration for mapper in a moment but to start developing our mapper what you have to do is you, you can say private static class and uh, let's say record mapper okay and we need to extend mapper class and uh, we need to as, uh, provide our key uh, input key type input value type output key type and output value type and we will be using uh, uh, text input format so input key type and input value type are um, long writable and text and output key type is the text because we want to emit uh, uh, count as uh, the key you will understand don't worry about uh, the types we are defining here i will cover those things later for now think it dislike long and dislike string but we will actually see wh why these uh, classes came into existence when we have string and other uh, 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 java classes instead of using them we need to understand why we are using uh, uh, custom map reduce classes for uh, uh, primitive types we will see those in a uh, after a while and then output value type is uh, uh, numeric value and uh, we will we can define it as intraitable or long writable i will define it as long writable because for a very large data set and the uh, the sum can be very large you can define intraitable also here but uh, i will explain why i am doing long i am using long writable instead of intraitable um, uh, while developing the map uh, while developing the reducer but for now just um, use the long writable and once you define the class specification
so let's uh, uh, import all this so make sure you uh, import from the right packages long writable are from the common category and it belongs to org.apache.hadoop.io so import this and also import the text which is also part of our Apache Hadoop IO. And as part of the mapper, we need to override a function called uh, map function. And it will be public static void map. Sorry, it is just public void map, not public static void map. And then here you have to specify long writable and give the key name let's define the line offset and text is the input value type so these two comes from here and it is text here and record and uh, then you have to give context output so these two are hidden under context so you need not worry to define these two and hit enter and then you have to throw few exceptions which we will throw in a moment and the functionality is to convert um, uh, each and every record into count comma one tuples for that we have to use output dot write and the key uh, which we want to write out is the string count and a string, uh, we cannot use string for that we need to create object text around the string and we need to pass value as one and again you cannot pass one directly when you are uh, using map reduce for that reason you have to create and the whatever type you are you have defined here so this and this should match and this and this should match and here you have to say new long writable one so we are actually type casting it to that and now it is complaining that we are not throwing the exceptions and it is complaining about two exceptions io exception and interrupt ex exception so for this function we will say throws io exception interrupted exception okay now we have defined our map function for now let us uh, comment out the reducer and also there is another function which i will be introducing you to it is called as job dot set num reduce tasks by default it is one we will set to zero so this program will not be invoking any reducer so you uh, 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 we, uh, so uh, the map output will be directly written to the HDFS which is defined as part of the file output format. So let's see how it will look like by running against deck of cards and let's give the path uh, record count with mapper only. So that will be the path where the data will be saved. And now you can right click on this and then run as java application so when you actually run the program using eclipse ide directly without any hadoop cluster it will take a little while and if you are processing a lot of data it can run out of memory issues also uh, it is enough to deal with small amount of data to understand the behavior of it no need to have the cluster and all those things so let's go to this path where the output is written to and you can see that there is a file here and uh, we will see the output in this oh. okay and the issue is I have not changed the mapper here that's why it is using the default mapper rather than the record mapper so we have to modify this mapper to record mapper save it and then we need to delete this directory because uh, we should not have the directory existing when we try to 
we run it again otherwise it will complain and fail now run it so only difference is instead of mapper we have to use the new mapper otherwise it will use the default functionality so you there is no relationship between the program and uh, if you have a nested mapper in this it will not be invoked unless um, it is defined as part of the set mapper class it will take little a uh, little while to execute this probably a minute or two so now it is done let's go to the command prompt and then uh, we are in the um, parent directory of the directory which we are trying to write the output to so we can do cd to the directory ls minus ltr and you can see the output of this and you see only all count of ones because the functionality is to just transform each and every record to count comma one so that those ones can be added as part of the reducer to get the final count of our uh, uh, records so also run wc minus l command on our terminal if you are using uh, windows this command will only work on sigwin it will not work on uh, uh, dos prompt so here you can give wc minus l and you can see that there are 52 records in that so that being said we have written our very simple map reduce program in which we have transformed each record into count count comma one tuples and we will see how this can be used as part of the reducer to get the uh, count of uh, uh, all our records and uh, and uh, uh, then we will start writing more complex programs uh, uh, slowly and steadily understanding all the concepts as part of the map reduce um, uh, all the concepts provided as part of the map reduce apis that being said i hope you are enjoying the content so far on my channel if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please do so i will be uploading lot more content than just hadoop and big data if you like a particular video please click on like button if you want to provide uh, provide feedback or ask any technical question please use the comment section of the video that being said thank you very much uh, for hearing to uh, to my uh, videos